What's good, people? Welcome back to whatever this is. So, y'all, we need to talk. We need to have a conversation. I've been having a lot of conversations with a lot of different people, and everybody's like, I just, Manya, I just want what you have. And I'd be like, Jesus. <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 not that. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, so they don't want Jesus, that's fine. But... <laughs> What I'm saying is that a lot of you have been talking about getting emotionally whole, getting emotionally well, and we've had a lot of conversations where, you know, and it's not just one person, it's like various people in my life who are like, Manya, how are you getting so emotionally whole? How are you getting so emotionally well? How are you doing the things? How? Listen, let me tell you about my coach. <laughs> her name is Nicole Samudio. Are you there? I see her on the live. Hey, hey girl. Love you. Um, listen, let me tell you about my coach. This girl, this woman of God, literally her obedience to become a coach and decide that she's going to help people become emotionally and spiritually and mentally whole. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I'm feeling like I'm like, listen, Linda, listen to me. Escucha me, por favor. Like, this is serious, guys. I you, Normally on these lives, you don't even catch me yelling. But like, I am like, listen, listen right now. If you are in a space and you're like, I just want to be okay. I just want to be emotionally whole. I don't want to constantly feel depressed. Or I don't want to constantly feel anxious. Or I feel like I'm okay. But I feel like I could just grow. Listen, I recommend fully a coach to you. This coach, aka Nicole Samudio. I'm serious. Like, guys, this is the key to everything. I I I don't even have full words to describe the impact that having her as my coach has made for me as a human being, as a woman of God, as a daughter of the king. Like I'm not even the same person. We, she and I, we met and we started our sessions, I would say January 2022. And we're coming up on a year and a half of working together. And when I say working together, it really is working together. And, and it's not like, like, like a, like a coworker situation. It's like a, she it's like a, a coach and a teammate. Like she coaches me and I work with her as my coach, as I'm on my own team. Like it, it's like a work together process. And we've been working together for, I would say we're, we're in our year and a half, maybe by January next year, it'll be our two year mark. And I just want to say that I am not the same person that I was a year and a half ago. I'm really not. Um, I would say oh, some major, major changes that I noticed first off the bat, like first three months. Um, Whenever I was working at my job, the first thing I noticed is that I didn't get caught up in people's stuff. I did not. I looked around, people were acting up. I was like, oh no, like these people, they are absolutely, they're not, they're not well. They're not well. And I would realize that my emotion and, and my emotions, plural, and how I was feeling was affecting, first of all, my work life. And how I handled working at my job. What? And when I discovered that, and I realized that I can actually separate how I'm feeling versus how they're feeling, and I can actually function well in the workplace without having all of these thoughts and beliefs and opinions clouding my mind. Let me tell you something. My job, when I was at my, I can't even get my words out, y'all, I'm so excited. <laughs> When I was at my job, I was so much more efficient. I wish I could give you percentages, but I will say that my passing rate as a teacher has raised to 90%, meaning I literally am with these kids and majority of them pass my class because they want to, because they see the emotional health that I have and they're like, I want to get things done like my teacher and they just go and get things done. I don't have to work for it as hard, okay? Like the the kids literally just like like for example, um, like not for example. What am I trying to say? Um, whenever I I'm 
in teaching, it's not as clouded anymore. I'm trying to put this in specific, clear words so that everybody can understand what I'm saying. It's like I went into my job and before I might come in and be like, oh, my boss is going to ask me this or this coworker is so toxic and they're going to do X, Y, Z. And oh, I, I, I hate being here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do the things. After I was like, oh, I, I understand. I understand. They're just, everyone here is just not emotionally well. And like, that's nothing to judge them on. It has nothing to do with me at all. Whatever stuff that they bring up to me or try to portray to me, it's their way of trying to connect. It's their way of trying to be a part of something. And I, when I say like, I've been more efficient, like I literally go in, I do my job and my teammates are like, how are you doing this? You're amazing. Every time you put out work, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible. And they're like, how, how I'm like, yeah. And I can't tell them Jesus cause I'm in the workplace, <laughs> but I literally just say, yeah, I just, I commit to just doing my job and I have a coach in my personal life and she helps me with that. And they're just kind of curious as to like, who is this coach? Who is this coach? Let me tell you, it's Nicole Samudia. All right. So that's just one aspect of my life. When I'm functioning also with my own family members, I can immediately see, I can discern like, oh, like what they're doing. If they're, I can see if they're projecting onto me or like if something's wrong or they're just not having a great day. I can put myself in a position where I can actually support and love them well without having my like all these like pain and deep-seated things and like fear of rejection and all this stuff like I found breakthrough and freedom from those things because I've committed to becoming emotionally whole for the past year and a half okay that's my coach my Jesus and my coach like when I tell you y'all this is y'all better come up here and get you one of these it's a coaching session what I'm trying to say is that this this is this is the sauce. This is the key to life. This is what Jesus was talking about when he was talking about, you know, laying down your life and talking about giving up what you think is for your life. Like this is what he's this is this is it. This is it. And the thing is about coaching sessions, people are always so curious. A lot of questions that I get is so <laughs> so you pay her to help you uh do what and i'm like listen i openly pay her because she's worth every dime like she's worth the services that she gives what she gives me is not tangible in money form but i tell you what it is kingdom jewels heavenly jewels the things that i store up in heaven through my coaching sessions when i get to heaven i know that none of that's gonna burn up in in the wheat and in the chaff it's not it's not it's going to be eternal kingdom values because what i'm learning with her is like listen listen i'm trying i'm trying y'all to explain it i know like every other word i'm like listen this is it listen this is the key this is the stuff this is it i'm telling you um i'm trying to think what other uh, what other area in my life um i talked about career wise i talked about family wise friend wise um just the capacity that I have to love people well and to receive love now, it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. Um, I think a lot of a lot of what these coaching sessions have been for me personally, it may look different for everybody, but we typically land on like two to three different things. And it's trauma from the past um, and being in the, the present and spiritually seeing what that looks like and how to spiritually and practically apply biblical values to my everyday life. And then um, sometimes it's a little bit of inner healing where we're, we're trying to pair the two together. And I'll tell you what, friends, I'll tell you what. When you find out what you have as a person either survived, gone through, and let me say this too. A lot of us don't know what we have even survived. A lot of us don't even know. We don't know. We have gone through our lives. 
we have gone through so many things and there's a there's a part on the inside of us that shuts down because we're just like you know what I don't really need to experience this pain I don't need to like go through these emotions so I'm just gonna wake up every day serve my family go through the motions have my little Sunday high with Jesus and sometimes throughout the week and just go about my life If I'm talking to you, don't be offended. We be out here. Not just you. We be out here. Inner healing, life coaching, counseling, therapy, all the things. This is what's going to help you live alive every single day. Because you wake up and you realize that life was not meant to, to be something that you just go through the motions with. It's not something that you're just like, you wake up and you're just like, I hate my life. And you're like, oh, also, sorry, Jesus, I don't hate my life. And then you try to, like, suppress everything that you've ever felt and then just, like, move on with your day. And also, let me say this. Some other concerns that I've heard that people have said, they've said that they don't want to get into inner healing or life coaching or counseling or therapy or whatever because they don't want to dig into all of those things. They don't want to dig into their past. The past is covered by the blood of Jesus and therefore it's over and done and it's dead. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yes. Yes. Your past is covered by the blood of Jesus and Jesus wants to give you complete freedom from your past. That means surrendering your life in every single area of your life and I'm gonna tell you right now before I was in coaching I really thought I really really thought I really thought that I was surrendered I really thought I was I was like yes I love Jesus with my life and like yeah I did filled with the Holy Spirit I love Jesus I'm following him I'm reading my Bible I'm going out in the streets I'm preaching the gospel you know miracles and signs and wonders are happening and I love it and this is the life that I want and also Jesus wanted the final front frontier of my heart the last wall to kick down he wanted all of me that includes this huge chunk of organ in my body he wants all of me right And I genuinely think that in these sessions, he meets me every single time, shows me something new that I didn't even know, either about myself or about him or about the kingdom. And I kid you not, every single session I come out in some capacity, a changed person. And it's not a summer camp high. It's not a, I went to a three-day weekend retreat and it was great and now I don't know how to sustain it. No. When I when I pay for her to have these sessions, you know what she does for me? You know what Jesus does for me? She pairs, Nicole pairs with the Lord and works with him to give me practical every single day tools to help me become the person that God wants me to be. Period. Period. I'm serious. This is what I wanted to say. This is what I wanted to talk about. Some of you are out here and you're like, I've tried therapy. I tried counseling. We're hitting a wall. Is your therapist filled with the Holy Spirit? Or are they, you know, just prescribing you medicine to, you know, cover up your symptoms? And sometimes we need medicine. I'm not going to lie. Some of us need medicine. I'm not saying don't be on medicine. What I'm saying is that We can only just plateau and cover surface level and, you know, just stay in one place for so long. And Jesus wants us growing every single day. Every single day. And that's not to pressure you to be like, you need to grow every single day. Like, that's not the gospel. We don't need legalism. But this is an encouragement, an invitation to allow him to pull you into the space to grow. To grow to actually grow guys mentally emotionally spiritually so this is my this is gonna be my call to action because i'm gonna get off here i think i've said enough (laughs) i'm gonna get off here before i say something crazy this is my call to action 
if you have trauma that you have not dealt with and you know it and this is not shaming you because I know this is a sensitive topic and I know people don't want to talk about this because it can be something where you just feel like your whole life is falling apart when you do finally open up and have these conversations but I'm saying if you have any degree any degree at all of trauma doesn't matter if it's big or you think it's small I'm telling you that needs to be addressed it does some of you are like no she can't be talking at me yes I'm talking about you I'm talking about you and the only reason why I'm sounding a little aggressive is because I'm very passionate about this I want people to be free I'm really sick and tired of the enemy convincing Christians that they have to hide in the background and pretend like everything's okay when their internal world is falling apart I refuse to be silent I refuse to let that happen I want every single person who's watching me to be free, period. I want your freedom. I want you to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and see Jesus. Do you understand? If you don't understand, that's okay. I'm not like making you feel a certain type of way, hopefully. I just want you to be free. This is my passionate side coming out. Most of these lives, I don't even yell, but today I'm like, this is serious. Go, go, Power Rangers. (laughs) Okay. I think that's all I want to say. And if anything, let's let's pray because invite Jesus into everything, right? Let's pray. And I hope that this encourages you to go on your own, like, emotion, (coughs) excuse me, your own emotional journey to find out what Jesus has for you. In this field, Christians don't talk about this at all because they think it's a worldly thing. They think that it's um, not biblically supported. It completely is. It really is. It's supported in so many parts of the Bible. And we can talk about this on a different live. Or if you have questions, you can DM me and we can have a long conversation about it. Because listen, Jesus wants this for his people. He wants his people to be 100% free free who the sun sets free is free indeed and he really wants his people free so let's pray let's pray and you know if you want a coach hit up nicole just saying i'll be posting about her i follow her you follow her let's get to it okay let's pray lord i just pray for everybody who is watching this live who has been feeling as if there is something that is off or something that is missing. I pray for people who don't even know that they have trauma and they just have gone through the motions for so many years of life. I pray for people who don't exactly know where to start or where to keep going or maybe they've plateaued in their sessions with people um, that are not filled with your Holy Spirit. And so God, I just pray that you would bring into alignment what you have said that you would bring freedom to your people, that you would bring them practical tools, God, and show them how to walk in freedom every day of their lives, that they would not be bound by the enemy anymore, that they would not have beliefs or thought patterns that are hindering them from fully receiving your gospel, Jesus, and that they would become alive, alive, alive in your name, and they would become free. That they become free. And I just break agreement with the spirit of condemnation. There's no more condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. No more condemnation. We just declare right now in the name of Jesus that you are free, free, free. And God, I just pray that if there's anyone that you want to make a change or make a difference that you would touch their hearts god you would show them the path that you would want them to go on that you would teach them the ways of your holy spirit that they would not be afraid to try something new that they would not be afraid to pursue you in a new and a different way that your love would lead them into a place of faith Because your perfect love casts out all fear. 
Yes, Lord. We thank you for it. We thank you for your son. We thank you for his sacrifice. We thank you that we can be in your presence day in and day out, fully attuned to what you're saying and who you are. Help us to trust you. Help us to make decisions based off of what you've asked of us. Help us to walk into obedience. Forgive us, God, where we have not been obedient. Help us to walk into your obedience. We pray this in your name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. So, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Some of you are like, this is this was too much energy for me. Listen, Jesus loves you. He loves you. He does. And freedom is possible. You can get free. Don't be afraid. Try something new. Okay. I love y'all. Have a fantastic whatever day this is. Bye.